Um, it, it's, a, it's a really fitting venue in which to kind of celebrate the, the Harry Potter legacy. Uh, and you, the kind of true fans of uh, Joe Rowling's world, are absolutely the best people to be celebrating it with. So thank you very much for coming. I honestly can't remember all of it. Do you really want to hear it? Okay. Okay. Bear in mind, I was, I was, I was ten when I did this. <laughs> so anyway, uh, hello there. My name's Rupert Green. <laughs> I hope you like this and don't think I stink. I'm four foot nine and age eleven. And that's that's all I want. <laughs> When I die, I'll go to the world. My question is, what was it like when Hogwarts was destroyed during the final film? It was, it was pretty scary. I mean, we uh, the day before they took the Great Hall like, to pieces, as it were, um, we actually went in there didn't we, before they, they tore it down. It was quite a, a big thing, because obviously we'd been in the Great Hall for like 10 years or so. And then we knew that they were tearing it down, that was quite... But was quite in, in order to tear it down, they also built a courtyard which had never existed before. So we were actually in the courtyard with the astronomy tower behind us, but it was kind of ruined. So that was awesome to be there anyway. And it was the only set uh, in Great Britain that ever needed planning permission. It was so big. Speech Place is really special. <laughs>
work in a little bit and uh, not work on the big times and all that kind of stuff. That's it. That's a rubbish answer. I'm very sorry. Any questions? Can you call him Ron? Um, he says yes. She wanted to know what your favorite movie was and why. That's quite hard. But, um, I love all of them really because each film is kind of a really big part of my childhood. I think um, the first film for me was um, quite a special one because it was, it was all new and exciting. It was just, it was just I was suddenly thrown into this, this crazy world and it was just so much fun. Um, so yeah, I'll say the first one. Alright, we'll take it up to Stephen. Stephen, where are you, sir? I'm right up here and I've got Debbie from New York. Um, first of all, thank you guys for the magic. It's Sorted into. We, we've actually, yeah, we've actually had that happen. Um, <laughs> it, was, it wasn't actually in the, at, at the studios, at least we had it done in the Burbank studios in Warnerville. And uh, we were actually put it into, it was weird, it's like, it touched the head and it actually said, ah, oh, another leaf, you know? <laughs> which is quite surreal. Um, yeah, so we, I made it to Griffinville, but we were split up. I'm a Hufflepuff. <laughs> Films and yeah, it was it was quite overwhelming. My, I didn't really know what I was kind of in for. It was quite kind of uh, naive, I guess. But um, it was yeah, it was just such an exciting time in my life. And, yeah, I'll never forget that moment. Do any of you guys have a moment when you realize that the films were really striking a chord with audiences, and you realize, wow, I'm part of something bigger than myself? Um, I I came up to the second film on seeing Chris Columbus. Done under one nominations and stuff, and I, was kind of, and I was really pleased to get. And I went to see the first film. I was cast just before the, the premiere of the first film. And I went, and I, I, I kind of came in the back of a, a big cinema in um, in London, and uh, and uh, the music started, and I just thought, okay, right, it's going to be a big roller coaster ride. I was, I was a huge fan of the films, because I, I didn't join the films until so late, so I, I, I was going, I was buying the books the first day they came out and going to see them in the cinema when they came out and everything anyway, so I knew what I was getting into. Can, can I ask you, what did you think about it when your dad got in there as well, you know? Yeah, I was, I was really tough. Actually, I don't, I, did I say to you guys before, when I, I went on set, my dad plays Mahmoudi and I went on set to see, the, uh, to see them filming, and uh, 
And while I was on set, I was like wearing this brown jumper with stripes on it, and I had long red hair, and they asked me that I wanted to be a stand-in for the Weasley Twins. <laughs> I was offered work, yeah, that's your stand-in. And I held out and then I got to play Bill, it was the right decision. <laughs> more minutes for some questions from all you amazing fans, so there's teams out there, what do we got? Ryan, let's go to Ryan. We have Ario from Orlando. Uh, I, I'm obsessed with all of you, but, uh, <laughs> Rupert, are you actually definitely afraid of spiders? Um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am. And he's still horrible with it. I actually find spiders and put them on me. But yeah, I am. Um, Rupert can punch as well. You know? <laughs> oh yeah, it is it's a really serious, serious fear. It kind of rules my life. I have to I check my shoes every morning. I check my bed sheets. It's, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's not nice. Um, I'm just the messenger. Don't be mad at me. We have time for one more question. So, who do we got? One more. Let's go to Kristen. We have Hannah from Texas. Hi, Hannah. My question for y'all is, we all know Snake dies in the end. What was your final opinion of him? Those opinions can be very mixed, so I was curious what y'all's opinions were. I think he's quite a heroic <laughs> character in the end, when you, you see that way he actually did. <laughs> so, I mean, like, he was obviously obsessed, obsessed really with Lily Potter and just wanted to make sure that her child was well and to after so the fact that he sacrificed himself is pretty amazing. But I don't think any of us anybody saw that coming until uh, until like you beat the mark button. Makes you never judge a book by a cover. He means well in the end, so uh, it's quite a good message for life in general really. On that note I want to say thank you so much to the entire